asked Dr. Phil to help because my father wants to take me to Michigan and I don't want to go. My father's like a total stranger and all that and I don't want to get to know him or anything. He ignores what I ha want to say and he tries to make my grandmother sound like a bad person. What has your grandma told you about your dad? That he doesn't care about me. He really just cares about him because like he doesn't care about what I want because what I want is to stay here. He cares about what he wants. And then that he has done like drugs and all that and that he lies. What do you imagine your dad being like in person? Awful, scary. Because like in person he could snatch me without like anyone knowing because like if I go in public, I just have to make sure I'm with like an adult or someone just in case my father is like gonna like take me or something. I wanna tell my dad to leave me alone. Now, how'd she learn that, Sandy? She said, I don't know. When she's asked me questions, I've answered them honestly. She's asked me if I've done drugs and I've told her yes. I don't lie to her about it. She asked me about you and her mom, and I've told her the truth. She was asked some very specific questions. Tell me what you know about your dad. Quote, I've been told that Ted lies. He does. I know that Ted has been to jail, but he won't tell me about that. I'm not sure if I've heard anything good about him. It is clear to me that you have poisoned her about her father. I've never said anything about him until just the last year or so. That's not we never really well, discussed him that much. Okay, that's like yes, saying, did you, did you shoot this person? Well, I, I didn't shoot him until last year. <laughs> well, well what, you, know, you still <laughs> shot him. I've well, told you, her the <laughs> truth. She asked me and I tell her. You don't recognize that alienating her towards her father is not in her best interest. Because let me tell you something, if that's how you see this, then we have a bigger problem than I thought because a, a positive influence in her life would support and encourage a healthy relationship between that child and her father and you do not support and encourage that, shame on you. I'm not saying I don't support him seeing her, visiting her. What I'm not supporting is him wanting to take her out of the home. He's Told trying she's, to just see her down there we and tried, he won't let them. May I speak, please? Absolutely. Casey texted him and yes, told him she would Yes, you may speak, and you may speak also, and you do not need her permission to speak. <laughs> well, she just interrupts. Look, go ahead, then. They've gone down there multiple times just to see her, and they get shot down at the door. They never came to my door. They were at the house. How many the times did you come to my door? House. I mean, once. Once at the door when we went to court once the day the before, police. and the judge twice said she's with staying. The police, yeah, and twice. Once the to police your came to my door twice. I wasn't even home. Either way, you knew they were there. You oh knew they God. wanted to see her. That's I knew all they, they were wanted. there after the fact. Mm. You had the visitation schedule a month ago. I'm not you allowing her to know. go to Michigan with a stranger. It's not just the going weekend. to Michigan. They just want to see her. I'm not allowing her to go to a motel with a strange man. She doesn't, he doesn't get to know her. He wants to just take her to you a motel for a weekend. You won't even allow going to the park. 